Alrighty. So we got the switch box all hooked up. So basically what I did was I went and got one of those ammo boxes, similar to the one that I, this is a Plano box, um, storage box. And I just kind of screwed it in there. Um, that just worked the best. I could store all the wires in the inside. It's hooked up to the battery right now. So basically these will sit side by side on the boat. Um, the switch box will be permanent. The battery box is something that I can take out. You know, like if I want to take it and put it in the kayak, something like that. So anyway, um, but we've got it working 100 um, percent. As you see, I got my deck lights here. So as I was showing you in that picture, I have one of these strips on each side uh, in the front and one in the back. I only hooked up one for the purposes of just the demonstration, but um, trust me, they work. So. Uh, and then I'm going to label these. So basically I'm going to have this one as the switch for the front. There you go. And then this one for the sw this switch for the back. And then you can do them separately. So um, you'll have your deck lighting. This switch here, even though I don't have anything hooked up to it, bilge pump. And then this one I'll probably end up doing the... Uh, navigation or something like that uh, the fish finder one of them but I didn't hook up they have these little bank lights that stay on constantly down here they just constantly stay blue um, and I decided turn that off turn that off I decided not to do that because I noticed that it was just a constant draw on this um, you know obviously the voltmeter is showing you where it's at but <clears throat> I didn't want to just kind of drain the battery for no reason just to have it on. I mean, to be honest with you, if any type of lighting is needed to turn on the switch, you know, I mean, technically I could feel Braille. I mean, it's no big deal. It's not like I have anything that's um, a game changer on there. Um, so we're good. A little DIY project. Um, I'll show you how it ends up being once I do the install. So the next step is to do the lights and to do um, just the, the uh, wiring for the most part. So I'm going to install the lights. It's got this 3M tape on the back of it. Um, so I think that that'll work pretty good. But I think I'm going to put some extra adhesive on there just to make sure that it stays. Wire it all up. Make sure the wires are hidden nice and good. And then we're good to go from there. And then the next stage, putting on that trolling motor. I already reversed the the uh, the handle on it, and I saw a YouTube video on how to mount it to the front super easy. So I'm going to give that a shot. Once that's done, just need to put the tubing on the bilge pump, and we are good to go. So just wanted to share. Holla.